Hello, my name is Nicholas Stad and I'm with Monrovia. Today we are at Rogers Gardens in Southern California. Autumn or fall. Fall is for planting. Without doubt, it is the very best time of year to plant your garden. If you want great results in the spring of 2014 and beyond in the summer, get those plants in the ground now. So let me give you the reasons why. Let's say you'd planned a hedge. Here we have Buxus Green Tower, uh, Capressus, Swain's Golden, a Juniper called Blue Arrow, a brand new Azara from the Dan Hinckley Collection, the world-renowned plant explorer. If you're looking to create a hedge and you really want it to take off, get these plants in the ground in the autumn. You're not going to see much growth on top, but where everything is going to happen is going to be below ground level. And during the autumn months, when that plant is in somewhat of a dormant stage, those roots continue to grow out and the plant gets beautifully established. Plant it same time as any other year, put your mulch in. Don't put any fertilizer in there because there's fertilizer in these containers. And as soon as the ground starts to warm up in early spring and the sun starts to beat down on your garden, these plants will explode. Really, it is the very, very best time of year tall plants or beautiful short plants as well. This is an English boxwood if you want that low hedge. Get them in the ground in the autumn. Fall remains a great time to be planting in Southern California. We're just blessed with the climate. Don't think that it's over and done with because spring and summer are behind us. Get those plants in the ground in the autumn time, in the fall. You will be rewarded tenfold. Let me give you some suggestions of great plants. Camellias. Okay. We've got two types of camellias. We have the Sasanqua camellias, which are going to bloom in the fall, and the Japonicas for the spring. Get the Sasanquas in the ground now. This variety here is called Marge Miller. It's a cascading weeping variety. Gorgeous soft pink flowers. And then Bonanza, okay, which probably gets three to four feet high. Lovely bush. Uh, both these plants will take morning sun uh, or on the coast, almost a full sun position. Inland, they like to be in somewhat dappled shade. Gardenias, which I have to mention. A lot of gardenias will lose their color in the winter time. This is a grafted gardenia, and you can tell the grafted gardenia by this really strong, thick stem. Get these in the ground in the autumn time. You will be rewarded spring and summer when they bloom, when they really put on their growth because their root system has developed over the winter months. And then uh, clivias. Clivias are a great plant to plant in the fall because they're going to be one of the first plants that bloom in dappled or full shade in your garden in like January or February with those great yellow or red flowers depending on the variety. Two rare plants and these are critical to get in the ground as soon as possible because they're at Rogers right now. This is a hardy chiflera collected by Dan Hinckley which actually comes from the mountains of North Vietnam likes a dappled shade position, will take some sun on the coast, uh, gets to be about maybe 12 to 15 feet high, it's evergreen, multi-stem, a great, great evergreen plant for Southern California. And my favorite, a new variegated fatsia, uh, which is called camouflage, great name, because of the multi-greens and this great chartreuse color. This plant loves a uh, half day sun or a dappled shade spot. If you're inland, it's gonna be uh, shade all day long. Put this in a bright blue, bright green container and you will be rewarded tenfold. The plant will probably treble or quadruple in size in the first growing year. And one plant I nearly forgot about, a Laurapetalum called Snow Panda. The common name is Chinese fringe flower. This plant was originally collected in China about 25 years ago, absolutely unique. When the leaves first come out, they're a chartreuse color, hardening off to green, and then the plant gets absolutely covered with pure white flowers, alias the name Snow Panda. So a couple of tips when you're planting in the autumn or the fall. Uh, dig the hole about twice the size of the root ball, and then when you place the plant in that hole, the soil that you put back in, mix that 50-50 with some good mulch you can get down here at Rogers Gardens. Get some organic soil back in there. 
And then when you're watering in, a uh, couple of good waterings, but in the autumn months, you don't have to water as frequently as you would in the summertime because you know we've had a great rain last night. There's always some moisture in the ground. Fertilizer, don't worry about it. You're not gonna fertilize really until the early spring. And a lot of these plants have slow release fertilizers in them, which are heat and water sensitive. So they'll take care of that winter fertilization for you as well. So fall is for planting. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia of Rogers Gardens. Oh, 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 oh